Hi there, people. This is Pray Love, and um, I've uh, been trying a bit uh, this fragrance right there. It's Machino Toy Boy, and um, it's not a first impression because I've talked about it in the past, I think. But uh, it's just like a, it was a really long time since I did check it out, and uh, uh, I know that there's a lot of hype around that fragrance. Uh, so let's check out if I see if it's. Um, yeah if the hype has a reason to exist um first off this fragrance is uh yeah it's pretty nice looking like the little bottle this is this one is kind of a sample bottle it's a uh, uh, five ml so and um what does this fragrance smell like well it smells like soap um very very refined elegant soap uh, for me, like for me, this is the thing I was like, mm, what a nice, clean, soapy, a bit spicy rose fragrance. And it's another key, key word in Moschino Toy Boy, the rose. It's a rose fragrance. So if you're in it thinking, oh, yeah, Moschino just got out a new fragrance, like a, a new, it's not new anymore, but got out a fragrance for men, it... It should, I, I bet it smells like a, a, a more interesting version of Sauvage. Then you're going to be very disappointed. This one is like a rose fragrance with woods and spices and a soapy vibe. Uh, it has a really soapy vibe, in fact. It smells like um, very, very clean. Very clean, but yeah, like I said, it's refined soap. It's not. It's not just like a soap you know you buy uh, at, at like a um, a, gro uh, a drug store or anything it's a very nice refined soap uh perhaps used in the in the spa perhaps or whatever and it smells like rose with you know the the, um, the actual plant you know it's, it's it smells a bit like woods like sticks you know uh, uh wooden sticks it kind of smells like wooden sticks for me also and it smells very alive you know it smells like a um i don't know maybe coniferous gum you know and it it has like a candid kind of nature you know it's very uh, it's it's a very positive and heartwarming fragrance, uh, and I really like it. In fact, uh, I think I didn't like it as much when I tested it in the past, but now I I, I kind of get the the vibe. You know, it's 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 a different take on a soapy clean fragrance, uh, but instead of doing you know laundry deter detergent type of whoa, 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 type of fragrance like a. I don't know Prada Lone or whatever they, they just did their own thing you know they they went off and they were like yeah you know what let's do this male soapy fragrance but it's gonna be all about the rose you know and and pear and pear is a, is is a super nice note I really love that note and in this one it just comes off super nice because it's soapy but it's creamy and it's light it's not soapy astringent like citruses it's soapy and light and airy and creamy it's very very nice and very well done here and the rose extremely well well done it's not a too sweet rose it's not a too jammy rose but it still goes in the vein of like a, a more sweet rose but it's very very nice it, it's it, sm it smells like a fresh rose bouquet at some point because you've got the, the the sticks and you know there's it's a watery airy kind of kind of soapiness kind of smells like water too you know when you're just got out of the shower and you you still have the little like droplets of water on you but you smell so good and it radiates that's what this fragrance really smells like now is it uh, um is it branded like it's branded towards men is it only a men's fragrance you always know my answer to that question is that uh wear whatever you want it's but in that case particularly it's very specific because the rose and everything in the pear in that fragrance 
uh, gives this fragrance a very uh, feminine fragrance kind of a vibe. You know, it's um, pear has been used so much as a feminine fragrance. Uh, it it kind of like to my nose, it kind of like smells like the soapy clean, you know, Chloe by uh, Chloe or the parfum by Chloe. You know, that kind of soapiness, like soapy clean fragrances um, uh, for for women. So like tar targeted towards women so i think in that case uh the unisex nature of the fragrance is pretty adoptable uh but anyway wear whatever you want uh, i'm pretty sure i would have a super nice time wearing like uh, um well i wear cloud but i always like i'd like to wear maybe chloe or the buffer and stuff like that it's super nice it's soapy it's very cool but anyway this one this one has like that quality but it's a bit more spicy it's a bit more woodsy a bit like in thinking that they should like still target the the male audience they kind of did some classic uh male type fragrances you know notes and uh, accords to make it work more towards a male audience but it's 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 still very very unisex and uh it's it's a killer i'm pretty sure that a guy likes that likes this fragrance will get tons of compliments for like i would smell that on a guy i would say like damn you smell super good and very clean and it smells very clean it smells like you've got a very good hygiene and i'm pretty sure that if you don't it's gonna smell like you don't have a good hygiene so take showers everyone it's very important and um because I think that it doesn't have the same wow factor for for women because there's tons of fragrances in the female fragrance market that have pear, have rose, have that soapy kind of vibe. Uh, so it wouldn't be like that much of a wow. It doesn't have that wow factor. But for guys, it really definitely has a wow factor. And if you're afraid of like going into the female side of the fragrance stores uh then you've got something for you still you know but don't be afraid just go and pick up like some female fragrances and try them on it's it's amazing there there's some good i'm not a, i'm not the actual fan an, an actual fan of female fragrances in general i'm not like the more inclined to reach for them but there's some amazing fragrances out there. It's a world of its own. Go go out. It's not because it's written women on the wall. You can't go there and sniff by yourself, you know. You won't get judged. You don't need to say, oh, yeah, I'm shopping for my girlfriend. You don't have to say anything like that. You should just go. And that fragrance, it might lead you to think, yeah, I should go and check out. Maybe I've, I'm even going to have an even bigger wow factor if i go and i put la vie est belle you know and and just go no okay maybe not it's it's even amongst women it's not like necessarily the best bet but you know what i mean you know just try them on and no shame it's it's fun it's it, everything is so it's so fun so anyway spread love and spray love bye bye